In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a glass railing like this in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Go to level 1. First let's create the stair. Select the default assembled stair 190mm max riser. Change the actual tread depth to 0 0.30 meters. Draw the stair. Finish the stair. Go to 3D. Next. Go to insert and select load family. Select glass rail bracket. Hold control. And select handrail profile. Handrail start turn down and stair nosing double stainless steel strip. Open. Select the railing. Go to edit type. Select duplicate. Name it. Handrail glass railing. OK. Uncheck use top rail. Go to Rail Structure. Select Insert. Name it. Handrail. Change the height to 1 meter. Profile. Select Handrail Profile 50 mm Diameter. Material. Select Stainless Steel Polished Handrail. OK. Apply. OK. Select baluster placement. For the main pattern. Select glass rail bracket. Top. Select handrail. Distance from previous. Change it to 1 meter. Uncheck use baluster per tread on stairs. Break pattern at. Select never. End post. Select None. Corner Post. Select None. Start Post. Select Handrail Start Turn Down. Change the space value to 0 meter. Start Post. Top Offset. Change the value to negative 0.054 meter. Top. Select Handrail. Apply OK. OK. Select the railing. Go to Properties. And select Handrail Glass Railing. Select the stair. Go to Edit Type. Select Duplicate. Name it. Stair Glass Railing. Run Type. Select Type. Select Duplicate. Name it. Stair glass railing. OK. Tread material. Select material. Go to home and select AEC materials. Select stone. Then select the marble. And add to project library. Rename the material. Name it. Marble stair treads. OK. Riser material. Select material. Go to home and select AEC materials. Select metal. Then select stainless steel polished and add to the project library. Rename the material. Name it. Stainless steel polished strip. OK. Tread thickness. Change the value to 0 0.10 meter. Nosing length. Change the value to 0 0.05 meter. Riser profile. Select stair nosing double stainless steel strip. OK. Write support type. Select duplicate. Name it. 
Glass rail 20 mm thick. OK. Structural depth on run. Change the value to 0.2 meter. Total depth, change the value to 1.5 meters. Width, change the value to 0.02 meter. Material. Select material. Go to home and select AEC materials. Select glass. Then select glass clear glazing tempered. Rename the material. Name it. Glass clear glazing tempered railing. OK. OK. Left support type. Select type. Change the type to glass rail 20 mm thick. OK. Apply. OK. Go back to edit types. Check middle support. Middle support type. Select duplicate. Name it. Carriage 200 mm width. OK. Width. Change the value to 0.2 meter. Structural depth on run. Change the value to 0.3 meter. Total depth. Change the value to 0.5 meter. OK. Next. Go to level 1. Let's adjust the glass rail bracket offset to be mounted on the glass panel. Select handrail. Change offset from path value to 0.075 meter. Select handrail. Change offset from path value to 0.075 meter. Let's check. OK. Next let's make a glass railing standoff to mount our glass panel to the stair treads. Open a new family. Save the project. Select metric generic model face based. Draw a vertical reference plane. Select the reference plane. Mirror or type MM for shortcut. Select the center reference plane. Dimensions. Make it equal. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Width. OK. Go to family types. Change the width value to 200 millimeters. OK. Go to create and select extrusion. Select the circle. Draw a circle. Go to annotate. Select diameter dimension. Select the circle. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Cap diameter. OK. Select the dimension. Go to label and select cap diameter. Change the scale to 1 is to 5. Finish the extrusion. Go to left elevation. Change the scale to 1 is to 5. Create a reference plane. Draw a horizontal reference plane. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Cap height. OK. Select reference plane. Select copy. Make a two copies. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Glass thickness. 
OK. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Spacer height. OK. Go to family types. Change spacer height value to 30 mm. Change glass thickness value to 20 mm. And cap height value to 20 mm. Apply. OK. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select this edge. Lock. Select the model. Move this arrow down. Select a line. Select this reference plane. Select this edge. Lock. Go to reference level. Go to create and select extrusion. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Finish the extrusion. Go to left elevation. Select the extrusion. Go to solid void. And select void. Select the void. Move this arrow down. Select a line. Align the void. Lock. Select the reference plane. Select this edge. Lock. Go to 3D. Select this element. Select hide element. Select cut. Select the extrusion. Select the void. Select the extrusion. Material. Select new parameter. Name it. Finish. OK. OK. Go to Family Types, Materials and Finishes. Go to Material Browser. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Metal. Then select Stainless Steel Polished and add to the Project Library. Rename the material. Name it. Stainless Steel Polished Handrail. OK. OK. Select Realistic. Save the family. Save into the desktop. Name it. Glass Railing Standoff. OK. Load into Project and Close. Pick on the glass surface at the side of the stair tread. Go to level 1. Go to section. Move the standoff in the center of stair treads. Go to 3D. Check the model. Now let's make a space between the glass panel and stair treads for glass standoff. Select the stair. Make a copy. Copy 2 meters to the left. Select the stair. Go to edit type. Select duplicate. 
Name it. Stair glass railing tread. Okay. Right support. Select none. Left support. Select none. Uncheck middle support. Run type. Select duplicate. Name it. Stair glass railing tread. Okay. 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 Delete the handrail. Next. Select this stair. Go to edit type. Run type. Select type. Uncheck tread. Uncheck riser. OK. OK. Next. Select this stair. Select edit stairs. Select the stair. Change the actual run width to 0.94 meter. OK. Finish the stair. Move back this stair 2 meters to the right. Now we've created a space between the glass panel and stair treads for our glass standoff. Next. Go to section. Reposition all the glass standoff to the center of stair treads. Go to 3D. Let's check. Select this stair. Select hide element. Select paint. Select marble stair treads. Pick the top surface of the carriage. Select done to finish the paint. Reset temporary hide isolate. Let's check. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.